Hello everyone, I'm Vianne Timmons, and April 1st marks my second anniversary as a pandemic president, the president of Memorial University of Newfoundland and Labrador. It's been a wild but wonderful two years. An anniversary is the perfect time to look back on what we've accomplished together. So today I'm gonna to do approximately a three minute roundup of the past year. So let's get going. Last year, we welcomed a record number of students for the second year in a row, approximately 19,500 in the fall of 2021. We launched our new strategic plan, which is showing us a way in the future, called Transforming Our Horizons. We opened Juniper House, a home away from home for our Indigenous students. We had a record-breaking year for research, 176 million in total sponsored research income. The Labrador Institute became Memorial's sixth campus. I'm thrilled about that because I'm from Labrador. We had 69 of Memorial scientists included in the world's top 2% scientists list. Our contributions to the UN's Sustainable Development Goals were recognized on a global stage. We achieved outstanding rankings in key categories, including quality education, gender equality, and industry innovation and infrastructure. We launched three new master's programs in software engineering, artificial intelligence, and data science. And our fourth year nursing students were recruited to help out with pandemic relief and our pharmacy students administered COVID vaccines. The Mi'kmaq Grand Council flag is now flying permanently at Grenfell campus and also at Grenfell. The campus received the largest research grant ever $15 million. We officially opened the Core Science Facility, a $325 million catalyst for collaboration and new discoveries. It's home to one of the world's only blue whale skeletons, and the credit goes to our past president, Gary Kachanowski, for this great achievement. We've been upgrading facilities for students, including Burton Pond, Apartments and the Argushu Hall, which is our dining hall. Our nursing program will soon be offered in Gander, Grand Falls, Windsor, and Happy Valley Goose Bay. Our students volunteered more than 10,000 hours to our university and communities, a great gift. We hosted a Youth Climate Summit, part of a project launched this year by the Geo Center and the Botanical Garden. We hosted six Coastline Book Clubs. I really enjoyed Alan Doyle's book, and he was a big hit. The Holyroot Marine Base was renamed The Launch and dedicated to the late former president, Dr. Arthur May. The Bombay Marine Station and Aquarium has got a little bit of a name change. It will be known as the Bombay Aquarium and Research Station. And for the fourth year in a row, Memorial was recognized as having one of the best marine ocean engineering programs in the world, and the only one in Canada. Giving Tuesday was the most successful in our history, with more than $160,000 raised, primarily for student supports. And we at Memorial committed $2.3 million to our undergrad entrance scholarships program. That we doubled the amount we gave in recent years. Finally, an economic impact report was done by KPMG and it showed the significant contribution Memorial makes to our beautiful province. We add $627 million to the provincial economy every year and we support almost 10,000 jobs throughout Newfoundland and Labrador. Memorial University is your university, and I am so proud of what we've accomplished together. Stay tuned for what we're going to do this upcoming year.